Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now, welcome to this new week. Praise God. I know this week is going to be awesome. You know why? Because the word of God is coming to you. See, the best thing God will ever give to you is his word. I'm telling you the truth. If God gives you his word, then he loves you. See, you know, Jesus said, if you love me, keep my words. Now, for you to keep his word, he's not, he's, that's the thing now. He's not saying, if you love me, keep what the Bible says. No, that's not what he was saying. He said, if you love me, keep my words. That's, that's, that's the act. what I tell you. Keep it. That's what he meant. Praise God. Now, for him to say, if you love me, keep my word, it means he's under responsibility or he's under the obligation of giving you his word if he loves you. So when he loves you, the way he demonstrates his love to you is to give you his word, see? And then when he gives you his word, the way you reciprocate that love to him is by what? Keeping his word. Why do you keep his word? Because his word is truth. Praise God. So I know it's going to be a great week for you because the word of God is going to be coming to you every day. Praise God. Now, now we, we, we've been talking about the knowledge of of the knowledge of God, you know. So this week we're taking it a step further, growing into the knowledge of God or growing in the knowledge of God. See, listen, your growth in Christ is not measured by your titles. You know, someone says, hey, you know, when I joined church, I used to be a brother, then I became a deacon, then I became an elder, then I became a pastor, and now I'm an apostle. I have really grown. No, it doesn't mean you have grown. Praise God. No, those are just titles based on responsibility that, that is given to you. It doesn't mean you've grown. There are pastors who are still babies. I'm telling you the truth. They are still babies. They've not grown one inch from the day they got born again. They've not grown one inch. They've been in church for 10, 20 years, but they haven't grown. So what do you mean? Oh, see, how you grow in Christ is in the knowledge of Him. See, so your growth is measured by how much you know Him. And let me tell you the truth. The more you know Him, the more confidence you have in him and that's how it works you see because and it, the, the amazing thing about knowing him is this <clears throat> you can never exhaust the knowledge of god never praise god you know the, the the book of revelation chapter 4 tells us about four creatures you know that are before god's throne and the Bible said they are always crying, holy, holy, holy. You, you know, you think it was, I mean, God just said your job is to stay and to be crying, holy, holy, holy. No. Why are they crying, holy, holy? It's because of the revelation of God that they receive. When they receive the revelation of God, they respond by saying, holy. Now, remember, the Bible didn't say they were angels. The Bible said they were four creatures. They didn't call them angels. There are several angel, there are several beings in heaven. You know, most of them would just think if it's not God, then it's angels. For example, the Bible talks about the, the, the 24 elders in heaven. And people think the 24 elders are the sons of Jacob and then also the 12 sons of Jacob and then the 12 disciples of Jesus Christ. I don't know where they got all those things from. Meanwhile, the 24 elders have been there right from time. So when you study scriptures, you'll find out that they were not just constituted. They have, they, these are beings in heaven. Praise God. You know, that's why you should be looking forward to the day you go to heaven. And that, that, that's not when you die. When you die, you don't go to heaven. I've told you that before. No, you don't go to heaven when you die. Praise God. When you die, you become a prisoner to death until Jesus comes to rescue you. So all these things we say, oh, he's gone to be with the Lord. No, sir. He is not with the Lord. You know why? Because the Lord is not dead. And that's why we talk about the rapture. In the day of the rapture, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Why? Because they will be freed from the power of death that has held them captive. That's when they will now meet the Lord. So I, I'm telling you this. So don't desire to die because you're not going to meet the Lord. So if you are thinking of going to meet the Lord, death is not the way. Be thinking of how to ascend like Enoch or, or, or Elijah. Praise God. Now, but then... I'll show you something. Hebrews chapter 5 and verse 13. 
Watch this now. He says, For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness. See? Everyone who uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness for he is a babe. Now, who did he call a babe? The one who uses milk. Now, you see, why, why did he say that everyone who uses milk? He is talking about everyone who is spoon fed. See, they, they make the dinner, they make the dish and it's ready. And say, okay, food is ready, just come take it like that. So, you know, milk is already processed. So, it, just like newborn babies, what do we give to them? Milk. Why? It's, it's already formulated. So, we just mix it and say, take it like this. The, the, the child is not chewing anything. The child is not, um, is not processing anything. You know, he's just drinking it and drinking it. And, and he's fine as long as he's just drinking that milk. See? As I says, anyone who is, who, for everyone who uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness. That's who a babe is. Praise God. You know, time is already up for today. But I'm going to continue from this scripture tomorrow. So, stay tuned. Have a wonderful day. Like I said, this week is going to be a great week for you. Watch out for God's blessings and miracles. Bye-bye.